joining me tonight. It's Body Beautiful Night in the Sanctuary, and tonight our topic is nutrition. And I have a, a brief meditation planned for us. I just wanted to mention two things before we start the meditation. One, the last three classes that I've recorded, the soundtrack has not been syncing up properly. So it's kind of funky on the replay. I've been trying to fix them in editing, but um, it, there's something um, changing the, the syncing of the soundtrack. So I haven't figured it out yet, but I'm going to try to. So I wanted to give you a heads up on that. It's not horrible. It's just not great. And then the other thing is this class, Body Beautiful, is much more of a physical energy class. So it's going to be really important that you use the grounding cord on your body that you're going to be putting on in the beginning of the meditation and that you remember to use it because a lot of the classes that we do, we're releasing spiritual energy and it releases really quickly. When we're doing a meditation and we're releasing physical energy, you can feel it right away. So it's important to keep that grounding cord on so you don't get knocked out of the center of your head. Because if you get knocked out of the center of your head, you'll lose your neutrality to look at the things that we're going to look at tonight. All right. So tonight's meditation, what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at our nutrition vibration in the form of a written word. So after we ground, I'm going to have you write out the word nutrition on your screen, and we're going to take a look at the energy of it that way to start with. And then um, we'll take a look at our body after that. All right, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to set the energy with a prayer. As we cleanse and heal the temple of the soul, may it be with the blessing of divinity that it shine its countenance upon us and bring us peace in body, mind, and spirit. Amen. Okay, go ahead and close your eyes. Make sure you're seated comfortably in your chair with your feet flat, flat on the ground, hips distance apart. And we, we got a great reading screen healing just a couple of nights ago, so you should be able to see on your screen tonight. Now, with your awareness in the center of your head, let's go ahead and ground the aura. Imagine that you're calling the edge of your aura in tightly around you. You can visualize it as a bubble coming in closer and closer to you. And we want to ground the edge of this. So let's go ahead and start our grounding cord at the base of the spine where you have your spinning energy center called your first chakra. And you're going to draw a line of energy from the base of the spine straight down to the center of the planet. And then anchor that line of energy into the center of the planet using whatever imagery you want to. And immediately upon anchoring it to the center of the planet, you'll feel gravity starting to gently pull your energy into your body. Let's go ahead and release a couple of energies from the day today using the new grounding cord. And um, I know, let's start off by releasing problems. Any problems that found their way into your space? You might ask yourself what percentage of the problems are that are in your space are actually yours and what percentage are other people's. And just let the energy of problems release down the grounding cord. Then the next thing to release energy about, <clears throat> excuse me, would be tasks. 
things that you maybe still need to complete by the end of the evening, responsibilities, go ahead and let the energy of those tasks and responsibilities release. And then the energy of your communications. Go ahead and release the energy of your communications. And I'll go through all the different <laughs> ways that you could have received communication today. You could have received it through Zoom, which you are right now, through email, text, social media. Go ahead and release the energy of all those communications. Oh yeah, an old fashioned way, telephone. <laughs> Good. Well, after releasing those energies, we wanna replenish them with a higher energy vibration. So create the image of a great big giant gold sun above your head. And imagine that you're calling your energy back from the week, wherever you might have left it outside of your body. And direct it right into that gold sun. When that sun is full of energy, go ahead and bring it in through the top of your head and fill up every cell of your body. And that gold energy can also go all the way down your grounding cord to fill your grounding cord up with gold. All right. Now with your eyes closed, we're going to be doing some imagery out on your reading screen. So imagine a great big white movie screen in front of you. And I want you to write the word nutrition. N-U-T-R-I-T-I-O-N. And what I want you to do is start to take a look at how this word um, was written by you what kind of characters the letters turned out to be. Are they block or chunky or cursive, thin, sturdy, not so sturdy? Did you write the word in all caps or was the word written in all lowercase? We're gonna put a grounding cord underneath the whole word. And this is how you're going to start grounding the energy out of your nutrition space, foreign energy, I should say. So create another grounding cord and put it right underneath the word nutrition and ground that word to the center of the planet. Now, when I did this meditation earlier, I found so much energy on the word that it took a long time to ground it. So I want to give you all plenty of time to take a look at it and read the energy of it. So to start with, as you're looking at this word, see if you can tell what colors are in the word. Can you actually see any color in the word or is it mostly dark energy? As you look at this word, you're going to be acknowledging some of the foreign energies around it and sending them down that grounding cord. So to start with, if you see any dark, heavy colors, go ahead and start to send them down that grounding cord on the word.
One of the energies I'd like you to look for is that of effort. If you find any effort in your written word, go ahead and ground that. Do you have any false information in that written word? And that could include other people's pictures and ideas about what they think your nutrition should be. Next, we're going to look for beings. Are there any entities that don't have bodies that are hanging out around this written word? You might actually see them as blobs <laughs> or uh, lights, like bright lights around the written word. And if you see any beings, go ahead and give them a grounding cord and ask Supreme Being to ground them out of your word. Good. And then go ahead and take the hard work out of nutrition. And I would also say hello to any energy in the written word that shows up as stuck energy in the body. So when I say that, look to see if any energy gets stimulated from the body and ground that. Look at the written word and see if there's any energy keeping you disconnected from your information on nutrition and say hello to that energy and ground it.
as you look at your written word nutrition, how much of that word, in other words, the information in it, is in present time? And how much of it is in past time? You could just ask for a percentage. Now say hello to the energy that is keeping your information in past time. See it as a color and clear that from the written word. Well, we're going to take this word and turn it around 180 degrees so that you can look at the back side of the word. Go ahead and turn it around, keep it grounded. And what I want you to look for on the back side are what are called chords, any lines of energy that are plugged into the written word on the back side. Go ahead and look to see if you have anything that looks like string hanging out of the word. Now this could be where somebody else has corded your information. And we're going to take these cords out so you can imagine that you are gently back twisting the cord like counterclockwise and gently pulling it out. And then you're going to fill the hole in that was left by the cord being pulled out with a big ball of gold energy. Good. And check for any other foreign energy on the back side. Ground it. And then go ahead and spin that word around again, 180 degrees. Say hello to the front of it. And look to see if any of the letter characters have changed uh, quality or size, shape, color. Is the written word, does it look any different than when you first started? What you're going to do now is find the color of your nutrition information. So I want you to really ground that word until you find a bright color that represents your real information on nutrition. We're going to be using that color for the next exercise. So before we do, I want you to create a great big gold sun above your written word nutrition and call back your information on nutrition that is currently outside of your body. And when that sun is filled with your information, go ahead and bring it in through the top of your head. Fill yourself up. And then go ahead and put the written word into the symbol of a rose and blow it up.
Good. Now we're going to create the symbol of a rose out on the screen and let the color of your nutrition go into this rose so you can just ground the color and take a look at it. And once you have that color stabilized, you, you might need to ask Supreme Being to help you ground it if you can't get a good read on the color. Once you have that stabilized, you're going to arc that color from the rose right into the back of your crown chakra and start running that energy in a clockwise motion on top of your head. And as that energy runs in a clockwise motion in your crown chakra, it also goes down the back channels and it starts its process through your channel system. So that nutrition information is going to go down and clean out each of your chakras now. And your back channels come up the front at the base of the spine. So it's like a hairpin. And you want to get that nutrition information going up that those front channels. You're in a great space. Why don't you go ahead and ask Supreme Being if there are any downloads for you right now in present time for new nutrition information. You can watch that happen to the rose out in front of you. I'm just going to have you ask your body a couple of questions. Your body has all the information it needs on nutrition. And if you just listen to it, it will tell you. So we're going to start with a couple of questions. Um, ask your body how much water it needs every day. And ask your body what kind of protein it likes. What does your body want more of? And what does your body want less of? And what is the one thing you could do right away that could benefit your nutrition in a positive way.
Go ahead and thank Supreme Being for the communication. And you can also ask Supreme Being for a blessing on your body. How about a love blessing for your body? And as that love blessing wraps up, go ahead and create one more great big gold sun above your head. Collect up any more of your energy that is still out and about. And when that sun is full of your energy, go ahead, bring it in, fill up your entire space. And when you're ready, you can come on out of trance. All right. Excellent job. And the energy is wonderful right now. Okay, well, we have one event next week, and that's the women's healing event. So if you are a spirit in a female body, I recommend coming to this because it's a unique and rare opportunity to have a lot of energies uh, that are unique to your female body addressed in one night. So the transmedium healers are going to be coming for that night and doing the healing work. And it starts at 7, and it goes till 7.30. And there is a fee for the event. It's $50 or $30 if you are a soul support member. And as I said, it's a kind of a rare opportunity. I've actually been working with the Transmedian Healers for about a year and a half now. We've been working that space, getting the energy vibration up to a wonderful healing vibration. So um, hope to see you there. And I want to thank you again for coming tonight. Got my eyes on you. And we'll see you next week. Bye-bye.